look at the incredible Deschutes River. We're here in Bend area of Central Oregon, and that right there is a national wild and scenic river. That is spectacular. On top of that, it's just a little after sunrise. We're getting the morning sun peak and brighten up, liven up this beautiful, raging, roaring national wild scenic river. Let's keep hiking. As we're coming up through this rocky section, definitely got to watch your step on this part because uh, it is a bit rocky. Not only do we get the incredible trail and the incredible National Wild Scenic River, but we are hiking parallel to this beautiful lava section. Look at this, lava rock. This area is absolutely beautiful. As I said, it's raining. You can even see a rainbow in the distance. As I continue to hike along the trail, got to watch your footing in this section because don't want to take a stumble. I'm going to stop here and take another look. Look at that. That is beautiful. We've got a rainbow arching over this volcanic formation section, Lava Lands Newberry Volcanic National Monument. And of course, we have the wild raging Upper Deschutes River below, the National Wild Scenic River. This area is absolutely incredible. Let me stop here and take a look. This is actually just an arm of the Deschutes River. This is the Upper Deschutes, Upper Deschutes River section. The other side of this volcanic formation is actually the main flow of the river. Just a little side arm that we are hiking beside paralleling. The trail is a bit rocky, so you gotta watch your step. Be sure-footed. It's forecast to rain all day today, but that is pretty common in Central Oregon in spring. As I said, I do not mind the rain. Kind of coming down to shoreline here, which is pretty interesting. Started a bit above the river and did an incline. We had some pretty epic views actually of the river. And now we're actually down to shoreside pretty quickly. This is kind of a grassier section or you can see over there, I believe that's called Cat's Tail. Bit of a wild section of the river. This is a national wild and scenic river for a reason. As I said, this is just a little arm of the river. The main flow is on the other side of that volcanic formation. We'll be meeting up with that soon and be hiking through some pretty epic overlook areas. But I appreciate these areas as well. Squirrel almost, uh, took me out, that was close. This is an interesting, what I'd call a boggy section. And we got a little signage coming up here. So it's the rain is picking up a bit. I can feel it on me. I'm so hardcore, I don't even have my hood on. That's how I roll. This section of the Deschutes River Trail Traverse through private lands, owned and managed by the Seventh Mountain Resort. Please stay on the trail and respect private property. I absolutely respect private property rights at all times. Yeah, maybe I didn't mention that. There's actually a golf course above us to the right. And let's see here. Deschutes River Trail, 2.1 Dillon Falls, Benham Falls. This is the way we want to go. This is pretty cool. This little split area. I'm gonna pan over so you can see. Look at that. And look at that. Quite beautiful. With the sun peeking through this bog here associated with the Deschutes River system, let's continue to hike on this little chasm that divides these two bogs come up here and I will show you the bog to the right. Look at that. Beautiful. Today is May 6, 2022. It is spring. It is raining on me. Being the true Oregonian I am, that does not deter me. In fact, it only makes me stronger. I will continue to hike along. This area is near Bend in Central Oregon and is very popular. So I 
came here on a weekday, today being Friday, May 6th, got here at sunrise, and I am the only person here. So my arrive at sunrise on a weekday contrarian strategy continues to be paying dividends. This appears to be taking us to an overlook area, which I will check out because, hey, why not? Kind of a neat little wooden plank here, an edifice. We'll go up the steps. No snow or ice today. We're, we're raining, but we're in the high 30s and 40s, so shouldn't be an issue. Oh, look, I guess I actually have to climb. So I will climb up the top. We're here in the Deschutes River Trail system area, standing on a wooden edifice. It gives us a little higher vantage point. This is actually a bit of a bog that is broken off from the main river. I don't know if you consider this a pond, a tiny lake. I will leave the descriptor to you. Scroll over and take a look at the beautiful sun. It is morning, just after sunrise, and I am the only one here. Absolutely beautiful. So we walk by this edifice that gives a better view of the lake slash pond slash bog to our left. I climbed that earlier and took a look, so I'll keep hiking. And coming up to a turn, get us back to Riverside. This is a little kind of side section that explores these lake, bog, pond areas with the edifice. But I would take it because it was quite pretty. I want to get back on my main trail now. lightly sprinkling. It was raining more heavily earlier. It's supposed to rain throughout the day. I don't mind it. I don't even have my hood up. I kind of like the feel of the rain on me. Maybe it's my Norwegian heritage. Maybe it's being born and raised in Oregon, but I view the rain as fun, not something to be frightened by. Little bit of a micro bridge. Bridge might be generous. But it looks like that is a little creek right there that probably has different flows at different times of year based on the glacial melt and snow melt. And we are back to Riverside, trusty Deschutes River. That is not the river proper I just showed you. That is just a right arm, a small right arm of Deschutes River. A little earlier, we saw the river separate into some arms. The main thrust of the river is on the other side of this lava field. This is the side arm that we are hiking beside, paralleling as we climb through Deschutes National Forest. I love these geological sections all these rocks Ooh, look at that it's pretty beautiful this area with the geological section it's a bit of a caveman vibe I like to come every spring and enjoy this area I'm a big fan of allocating your river hikes in spring like I'm doing now so that you can save the heart of summer for your mountain alpine adventuring which Keeping it real is always my favorite of the year. Climbing way up at the top of the mountains of the area. But you can only do that a couple months of the year because of the snow melt. So I want to see beauty throughout the year. So do your river hikes in spring. Let me stop here and show off the panorama of this National Wild Scenic River, Deschutes River. I'm loving all the colors. You got kind of the flashes of red and yellow and green. Um, kind of brightens it up. Today, as I said, is May 6th spring, so we're not at full summer bloom per se, but even in spring, you're getting some, some character on the trail, some beauty. Also love all these incredible ponderosa pines. This is Deschutes National Forest. I'd be remiss also if I didn't stop and highlight this volcanic rock across the way. That is correlated to 
lava lands, part of the Newberry Volcanic National Monument area. So not only get the incredible river and forest, but you get this lava formation. Pretty epic. We're hiking next to an arm of the river. In fact, I will come down here and take a closer look. Look at the beautiful Deschutes River. This is an arm of the mighty Deschutes River as I continue to hike on the trail. We're here in the upper Deschutes River section of this incredible National Wild Scenic River. And look across the way, we've got volcanic fields as far as the eye can see. That is Newberry Volcanic National Monument Lava Lands. And we're enjoying the crook of this river as we continue to hike along. Deschutes River is a national scenic river. So it is recognized federally, nationally as epic. And I think it's one of the best river hike areas in the entire state of Oregon. Definitely top five. And we are hiking beside the beautiful and epic, as if right on cue, Deschutes River. Look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Currently hiking through Deschutes National Forest on this pretty epic trail. Come over here and Take a closer look. Loving the sun hitting that. A little bit of froth from the waves and then the sun. That is quite gorgeous. Almost giving me an Oregon beach feel. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. As we continue to hike along. So we're hiking on Deschutes River Trail and enjoying our old trusty friend, this incredible Deschutes River. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna stop here and admire the beauty. This is incredible.